Okay, Drain Team, here we are. A place called Birkenhead. Lovely sunny day. A customer is complaining that the gully is blocked and they have to keep coming out every day and putting a mop down the gully here. Okay, so got some kind of access there. No manhole, but we have got this uh, basic rodding point at the bottom here. So I'm going to put the uh, the jetter down it, and you notice I've put a little kink in the hose because when I get to the bottom hopefully it just springs uh, notice I've put a, a little kink in the hose and when it reaches the bottom hopefully it just springs into the correct opening so it's facing back up towards the property but we'll see Go, I think we're in. Okay, let's start the jetter. Because <laughs> I'm a bit limited for space, I tend to have to move everything out of the van each time. So, uh, Up here.
is actually a toilet waste pipe. So toilet's in there and someone's cut all this away uh, because they've obviously been having problems before. Mm. Alright? Yeah, yeah. They've blocked it but I think there's problems on this under the yes. floor. Hello drain team, here we are in a lovely place called Heswell. We've got sewage backing up there from that gully. We've got a soil vent pipe there. A couple of toilets. Is it just one toilet? Access chamber, little mini access chamber. So get me gear set up and then we'll open it up and go from there. Well, I think it's worth having a, having a look in there. There you go. So we'll get the rods. No, we'll get the jetter on that. See if we can get some movement. Navigate past that big floater. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Lots of wet wipes. Oh, come on. backwards on this one for some reason. Look at these wet wipes.
Get in now. But we're in. been out to this uh, drain before and um, this is the one where the chap lost the um, the worm screw fitting he thought he'd lost uh, drain rods but it was actually uh, the screw off the end but I couldn't find it with the camera so uh, I'm hoping that is um, not causing him problems but that water still holding so I'm gonna continue uh, jetting this to make sure it runs right Back here That's a lovely sound. Guns are come coming up there. I'll get the camera out in a minute and have a look. Fabulous, isn't it? You know these dra these jobs are so, so interesting. Okay, 
so I'm going to get the camera out on that now. Turn the engine. Give you a bird's eye view of what's going on. Push the right way. It's not so good, is it? Uh, a separation on that pipe there. Around here. Again, we've got a, quite a big, big opening on that joint. we got there that's a hole in the top of the pipe yeah that's a hole in the top of the pipe looks like this could be a patching job anyway we'll continue more problems joints are open this is a junction here, so not too sure what's coming from there. Water, so you can't see anything, but that's water. Water, there we are. So, what else are there? It's water. That's obviously.
So with the expense, this one was a little bit uh, minty, so put plenty of uh, very disinfectant down. All parts of the surface. Okay. One can't complain of that. Come on. Okay, so there we are, spick and span. No complaints there. All running well there. Uh, another job done. This is part one. So there we are. There's another job done. Uh, customers are back in action with the drains, uh, they're all working again, everything's cleaned up. Uh, customers also give me the go ahead to do the resin patch repair. Hopefully I'll have some time next week to do that. Uh, yeah, could have been caused by an aggressive uh, rodding with DIY rods and the, rod, the uh, drain worm. Who knows? but it needs to be fixed so uh, this is um, this is a beat continued so thank you for watching the video uh, if you like it click the like and if you haven't subscribed it would be great to have you on board and part of my Tony's drain team uh, people from all around the world watch these videos and um, Please um, leave a comment and tell us where you're from. And in the meantime, have a great rest of your day.